go to prison to be a man. He got to take it right. To me, a fool goes to prison because he's using foolish thoughts to accomplish what he needs. A man will accomplish what he wants That's right. without being caught. Okay. I'm not saying that all crimes are caught because they're not. Okay. But it seems like we're caught more than crimes are caught. You go to prison, you don't learn nothing how to be a better a smarter crook. That's all you learn. You, know, you either learn how to be a smarter crook or learn to do a different crime that you never learned how to do. Yeah. I mean, when you go to jail, that's how you learn. I mean, you either learn to play domino, good, chess, good, learn how to do a tattoo, or you learn how to pick a lock. Or you can rob a different type of bank. Or you did this, that, and that, and that, and that, and we go on and on and on. So all you do is increase your knowledge on crime. That's all right. Once upon a time, you know, we can look from if everybody okay, but if you go to prison and come out, that means you're a man. But I feel like a real man is to stay on these streets, not be locked up. It's the wrong way to set up society and say it's okay to go to jail. See, a lot of kids down there, they're saying, oh, I can do five on my head. I can't do 15 minutes. Okay? I can't do 15 minutes because I don't like nobody to tell me what I'm supposed to do, what I got to do it, and what I can't do. That's real. It's so living. By the line, we talked about it. Here. You know, I mean, I was in the service, which is another way of being in jail, pretty much. Yeah, but I can get out of that. Okay. Whether it's dishonorable or not, they're not letting you out of jail, no matter what you do. You're going to be there. I don't think all young black men need to know that going to jail is a, is a passage. The only passage you get from going to jail is the funeral home. How many of your brothers and sisters you want to go to the funeral home? Something else.
black man or whatever all you do. Uh, how, many, how many girls do you have? Uh, how many women you got? Or if you grow up, you're 18, 19 years old, and you never had a girl, you're considered a square or whatever. But if you had lots of girlfriends and things like that, you were always considered, uh, you know, superior, you know, superstar. And I know I was like, growing up, I didn't get a girl or anything until I like started playing sports like that. If you were considered a big athlete and things like that, you get girls. If you was uh, well endowed. Or if, if you were like well endowed, you had a big penis or whatever. Well, that's kind of a lot of times the way brothers look at uh, making up of what they don't have financially or things like that. Because a lot of times, like I said, when I was going to school, white kids would come to school in their parents' cars, their doctors and lawyers, we was on a bus, we had to go. So if you were a big time athlete, you know, and you had lots of girls, or if you were, uh, just had, uh, you had a big team, and you were known for making the girls scream and holler or whatever, well then you were considered a pimp, lag daddy, you know, a player. And you were somebody in the hood, in the neighborhood. Ourselves, black men, as well as ourselves, pimp, pimp daddy, uh, black man, hustle, hustle, hustle. That's what we're trying, we, man. We used to, in the, the 60s, I was just we used to I was call themselves hood. I heard the blow. Soul brother. <laughs> it's, you know what I'm saying? Black man. I'm power. Uh, <laughs> we had another one that was all positive. Okay? As soon as we started being equal, or wanting to be equal, we forgot the positiveness, and we went to the derogatory negativeness, which still gave us a positive feeling about ourselves. It took our handshake, it took our hairdos, it took our clothing, it took our dance shows, they even took the way we walk. You know what I'm saying? So now as a black man, what we got? We can't even grab our crotch no more, because they grabbing their crotch now. Think about the messages that are being conveyed. We spend so much of our time talking about, yo, bro, I bust her out, I can beat her down, I can split bus her open, and things of that nature. And a lot of times, we put so much emphasis upon that, and we stop, and we start to wonder, why is it that our women are wondering, well, brothers, how come you're not accomplishing more financially, economically, uh, socially? You know, why is it that we're not concentrating more on education and achievement? Why is it all about that thing that's between our legs? So this is what we want to get some feedback on. Do you believe that we will utilize that as our key focus as so that we can kind of skip over the realities of being successful in life by obtain, obtaining things, achieving things, having a big bank account, and owning property, and taking care of our family? I'm ready for this now. Uh, all right. Huh? It is a, the question said is, the black man is preoccupied with his size. No, it's, no, it's not. It's white America that's preoccupied with it. Every white person out there will be like, oh, black men got big old penises. White women say the same, same thing. So it's, it isn't the black man that's preoccupied with it. It's yeah. the white people. You know, on that subject, that's a trip subject because when, when, when you go into certain areas, I don't like to say the ghetto. But when you go into certain areas, you will find intelligence below the waist. Okay. In other words, if I got the biggest one in the hood, I'm the baddest in the hood. Okay. But it don't system. work that way. No, it don't work that way. Because you can be the littlest in the hood and get more than the biggest in the hood. Okay. Because you know what you're doing with what you got. Exactly. It's called self-confidence. Yeah. Okay. The sound of your, 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 your uh, sexual organ has nothing to do with your self-confidence. So you can sit here and, I mean, be long as my leg and ain't got no confidence. <laughs> but a little teeny guy, he got the confidence. He can get what he wants because he know how to go out. So the sound of your penis has nothing to do with your intelligence or lack of. I, I, I don't know what's 
myself. You know what I mean? That's about the only thing that I have an advantage of in this country, in this world. And then it's been scientifically proved that the black man's genitals are bigger than it. And what does a woman thrive for more than anything? You know what I'm saying? Okay. Well, you know, I use that to my advantage because, you know, they say a woman's man's backbone. If the white, Asian, Mexican don't want to